Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've recorded any sort of tutorials, but today I want to kind of cover something that I'm doing for picking up as a little bit of a hobby. Uh, I've been working on doing some mods for Divinity Original Sin, and uh, I just wanted to show off on uh, how to use the editor, uh, just some real basic stuff. Uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about installation, uh, because oddly enough, I had some, some issues with it. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, um, if, if you were an early access user, let's start with this, then there may be some things you have to do. You may need to uninstall the system. Um, the way you can find out if you need to is you uh, go ahead and take a look at your local folder. So if you just right click and go to properties and say, you know, local files, browse local files. If your folder structure looks like this, uh, you may not actually have data here, then you're good. Um, if it's structured differently, then you should probably go ahead and uninstall and reinstall. I ran into that issue earlier. The second thing you want to do is make sure you install this engine data. So uh, just click on a little tick box and it'll install the engine data. And then after that, you can go ahead and install the, the editor tools, which will be under here if you click on games and switch over to tools and click on the Divinity Engine 2. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this real quick and let's set up a new uh, demo scene. So what we're gonna do is click on, uh, we could either go here on new project or just click create. Uh, let's go ahead in the new project tab and we can discuss a little bit the difference between an adventure and an add-on. An add-on is basically gonna be some type of <clears throat> mod right so you're adding a new character um, a new quest some type of formatting as far as how the uh, you know item tables are set up or whatever else uh, this one is actually creating some sort of adventure some sort of quest or story plot so we'll start with this one and uh, i'm not too sure about the target what it means to have gm also as a target but i'll go ahead and click that we'll see i don't know and then we'll call this one My First Adventure. And then we'll go ahead and hit Create. All right, and then from there, we're gonna look at something that uh, it looks like a, an editor, but just you would see in something like Unreal. Uh, in fact, probably the closest thing I can gauge from this is uh, the, the interface looks fairly similar to Visual Studio. Uh, it looks like a Visual Studio application, uh, as well as uh, having some similarities to the way the CryEngine or Lumberyard is structured. The next thing we have here is it asks us to create our first level. So we actually, there's a sandbox that has some stuff in it, but what I've found to be the easiest way to start something is to actually create a blank empty level. So we'll go to new level, we'll set it to basic, and we'll call this my first level. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit create. And from here, what you'll see is that we have a very basic level set up with a uh, start point as well as terrain. And that's going to be it for this clip. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.